can you be successful when there are more factors out of your control than in your control? In the next minute, I will explain how to make superior progress in the face of unrelenting uncertainty. Superior progress does not require lofty goals, although setting well-defined stretch goals does help. It also does not require luck, being in the right place at the right time, or having the best people or technology. There is a repeatable process that all leaders can put in place. Step one to superior progress is to envision the finish line and forecast the complete route to the goal. You can plot your route in whatever metrics seem appropriate, distance, time, costs, incremental revenue, etc. It is not okay to leave gaps. Putting in a best guess is better than no guess at all. Once the high level plan is kicked off, I like to see periodic reviews. The review should include robust discussion on how to get back on track should you be off course. It is a tricky spot and where many blow themselves up. You want a robust discussion on how to better allocate resources and what to do differently. What you don't want is to accept variances without inspection, nor do you want finger pointing and defensive conversations. If things are going better than plan, great, acknowledge the accomplishments. What I've learned not to do is automatically push harder when the goals are being met or exceeded. It's important to allow the team to relax from time to time when things are going well. So to make superior progress, your team needs to have a robust plan, even if it is high level. They need to track their performance regularly and closely inspect reasons for falling behind. Finally, don't push your team harder when they are doing well. I'm Stephen Wise, Integration Professionals.